I'm going to share with you my big, big, big sustainable dream and yeah, all the good stuff that comes with that. All right, let's get into it. But first, if you're new here, my name is Akuya Yamwa Poku, and I help people create the life they love that's also good for the planet. Now, I've been doing this journey of living a low waste and sustainable lifestyle for about five years now, where I started real world basic to recycling plastic bags, kind of taking my reusable bags to the grocery store, all the way to being an advocate for sustainable businesses by people of color. So I've been through a lot of variations and a lot of different parts of my journey. And that's actually how I came to this big sustainable dream that I have that I want to share with you all and let you know how you're actually about to be a part of this dream. You just didn't know it. All right. So the big dream is that everything in my home is BIPOC owned. Icing on the cake is that all those businesses are also sustainable, of course. And this is a huge dream because, look, a lot of things are owned by white individuals. And so this is going to take a lot of work, a lot of work. And some of you may be wondering, okay, but why is this your big sustainable dream? And honestly, it just goes back to the history and showing love and compassion and all those things especially in the United States, we have a history of discriminating and being prejudiced against people that look like myself and other people of color. I mean, literally anyone who's not white, so Asian, Hispanic, indigenous, black, they have experienced, we have experienced discrimination. And this is just been so deeply rooted and I wanted to be intentional about sharing love. I want to share love to a community that doesn't often get love from the masses. And so this is my grand gesture. This is my dream, really born out of the resurgence of the Black Lives Matter movement in 2020 to just do more and be more intentional with my life. So that's why I have this big dream and probably a full myriad of other reasons and ideas. But those are the main ones I want to share with you all. And then let you know how the dream has been going since it really was like fully, it was like planted in 2020, but it like blossomed in 2021. So I'm a little bit in this journey now of about one year or so. So I want to share with you some of my successes and some of my challenges. So I'll start with challenges. Honestly, the first challenge I had was I just could not find sustainable businesses, y'all. I could not find businesses by people of color. When I started my journey of living a low-waste lifestyle in 2017, it was like little scraps in terms of like sustainable businesses I knew by people of color. And that wasn't going to work, right? Like I literally knew maybe five, maybe. Like I'm probably being generous with myself. And so that was like the biggest hurdle. It's like, okay, I have this big dream, but I don't even have, I don't even know sustainable businesses by people of color. So I really had to begin this whole journey of doing research. Like anytime someone shared a black owned business, uh, indigenous owned business, I would save that bit on Instagram and I would save it on Pinterest. And I just had this big database of businesses owned by people of color that were also sustainable. And so then I really thought, okay, this is just like too good to keep to myself. And I created the fighter, right? But that was really a huge challenge with this dream. And that was, that was easily by far the biggest. Another challenge that I had with my dream was like recognizing the fact that it was just going to take time. Like there are so many items that go in a home and to think that every single item I touch, I want it to be BIPOC owned and ideally sustainably as well. I knew that that wasn't something that was going to happen in a week, a couple months. Like this is a long term dream of mine and I have to be patient with that. And that's really hard for me because I have a sense of urgency in my life. So that's something I've been going back and forth about, but every time I find a sustainable business, I just get happy and it gives me the extra boost that I need. And then I would say the third challenge that I've had is just acknowledging that 
it's gonna cost more money likely to support BIPOC businesses. You know, when you're more rooted as a company, you have years under your belt, you're able to reduce your prices on your items and then you're able to sell them, of course, more because they're cheaper. But when a business is just starting out, a black business, an indigenous business, their price is going to be higher because it's usually like a one woman show or just like one person with an extra set of help. And so just acknowledging that I'm going to have to spend more on this dream in order for it to become a reality. Okay, now we're talking about success, the good stuff, the good stuff. So one of the big successes I alluded to it before when I was talking about the challenges was the finder. I created AYO Business Finder because I struggled to find sustainable businesses by people of color, and I imagine others have the same issue. So I created this finder. It's now free and available to all of you to go check out and utilize, and it has over 230 businesses. And the best part is you can use this resource to create your own sustainable dream, which I think is so beautiful and so powerful that this resource can do that for you. So that was definitely a success for me and being able to create this finder and this labor of love that gets to help so many people out there. Like I get comments all the time that I was looking for a database that had these businesses. This has been so helpful. This is so organized. There's so many businesses. Like all these things are people that just really love this finder. Another great success that's come out of this pursuit of this dream is just being able to meet the CEOs of sustainable businesses, get to meet these business owners, boss babes, boss couples, boss men that are creating sustainable businesses that are going to help us live out our sustainable dreams, whether that's a business owner for, for a skincare line or a business owner of a vintage store. It's just been so great to hear their stories, how some didn't mean to be entrepreneurs, became entrepreneurs, some business owners that saw a direct problem and they said they're going to go for that problem. And so it's just been so great to have those biz highlights on Instagram live and be able to meet all these different businesses. So that's just been a joy and I'm so glad that I get to do that. Okay, so what's next now that I have this awesome sustainable dream? What's next is I'm going to keep doing a lot of what I'm doing now. I'm going to keep sharing new sustainable businesses owned by people of color with all of you through AYO Business Finder, where there's already like 240 and counting, something crazy like that there. Because I enjoy sharing these all with you because I know how much of a struggle it was for me in the beginning. And also, I'm going to be sharing with you all my experiences with these businesses on my social media, specifically TikTok and Instagram, about how I enjoyed the product, um, my personal just feedback, and a chance for you to ask questions about these products you're considering yourself. Because the reality is we need businesses to live out our sustainable dreams. We need products, items, services, etc. to live this thing called life. And if you also want to jumpstart your sustainable dream, get it really kick in and high gear, I really want to encourage you to sign up for my newsletter and be a part of this weekly newsletter where you get a personal message from me about lessons I'm learning on this journey because I'm constantly learning lessons on this journey. And I don't want you to have to go through crap that I've already been through. And then also I'll be regularly sharing updates of like when I add new businesses, what kind of businesses, free resources and things like that. But also you'll get to know the latest in industry news, whether that's like a new vegan recipe or a new business that you didn't know that's doing some sustainable habits. Like just keep you well informed and honestly keep you upbeat and positive and know that there's so many moving pieces in the sustainability movement that's beyond you that's happening and you set us inspiration. So I hope that all makes you feel encouraged and that you can lead your dream sustainable lifestyle. Click the link below to sign up because when you sign up, you get some discount codes. Yes, you heard me, discount codes for sustainable businesses and you get a free affirmation handout to help you kick eco-anxiety's butt because sometimes it just gets a hold of all of us. Well, I'm so happy I was able to share with you my dream sustainable life and that you all get to be a part of this journey. And I hope that you sign up for the newsletter and I can also support you on your dream. And until next time, bye.